I'm Matt and this is Lydia. We've been married for like 15 years and we have five kids. I'm Matt and this is Lydia. <laughs> no, you can't do that. <laughs> that was too cheesy. I am Matt. I'm Lydia. And we have five kids. Their names are? Esther, Nora, Ava, Ezra, and Silas. No, we're, we have the most amount of fun when we're with people, having conversations, hanging out. Building relationships with people. Being in community. Oh, nailed it. That was good. That was like really good. Yeah. Oh, Ocho de Mayo. Ocho de Mayo. It's like Cinco de Mayo, but on the 8th. It's on the 8th instead. We had carne asada. We had a big old fire. We had a band. We had four pinatas. It was a good time. Because people need to be around other people. People have been away from other people for a long time. They needed to uh, eat and dance and beat a pinata. The next day we had some friends come over, meet us out there to help us clean up. We just reheated all the leftover taco meat that sat out we all night. Out some more neighbors. <laughs> and brought out a couple other neighbors and we stayed from after church until... After dark. Until, <laughs> yeah, until after dark. Well, that it takes sacrifice. You can't just, like we didn't just show up to a, the property and have like enough food to feed everybody or to have stuffed pinatas or whatever you, that you have to work for it. You, you have to put in the time and the sacrifice in order to get the fun at the end. But we had a couple of friends from like, that we'd met at like the gym and then another friend who we'd met at like a different, like through a different- A friend different group. gym. <laughs> a different gym. No, whatever. But these two people who didn't know each other showed up at like a little a little get together thing and they started talking to each other. I said, oh, how do you guys know each other? And they're like, um, when we pressed side at your house last fall. And I was like, oh, well, that's cool. Because they, like they got to know each other through that. That's, I think that's important to like, I don't know. Especially with all this COVID stuff going on, the people need to be around. We live in a people. small town and everybody who doesn't wishes they lived in a small town, so can kind of create an atmosphere and a spot where people can know each other and help each other and be in love with what's going on. The church should always be fun. Obviously church should be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Much funner than any of us have ever remembered it being, actually. Because <laughs> Jesus was fun. Jesus is not boring. You know the stuff he did? He walked on water. There's way cooler stuff than that. <laughs> we have to think of You don't get to know. You don't get to know what happens down the road. So there's things that always happen. Everything is, you know, 10 touches away or something like that. You have no clue what's going on and what you're doing right now. So you're just supposed to do what you think God told you to do, and you're supposed to do the right thing. And you don't get to know what happens, but someday down the road, you know, you're, you're a part of something that's bigger than what you know is going on at the moment. So. That's, that's why you have the parties, that's why you have people hang out, that's why you be friends with people. That's why friends come and go, friends change, friends do dumb things. The way we live our life, or we try to, is that we just try to do what's right. We know what's right is spending time with people and getting in them in community, and we know that we have a house that's capable for, or that can serve that purpose. And we know that's the right thing to do. And so where God shows up, we don't get to know. Sometimes we get to see a glimpse and then we're like, yay, thanks. But most of the time you just do the right thing. And the right thing for us is to have parties. <laughs> Nailed it.